All right, we're back. The court short video. Um, my 2010 Subaru Outback. I was taking it to uh, I was taking it to uh, Kansas City and had to take some stuff up for my cousin. And got a transmission code uh, P0. I don't know, I'll put it on the screen here. And uh, related to the valve body issue, um, solenoid for the torque converter. Uh, after some extensive research, I discovered that you cannot replace individual solenoids in these Subaru transmissions. I and a new one was thousand dollars, and I couldn't justify spending a thousand dollars on a 2010, uh, especially with some of the other issues it has. But I didn't want to buy a new car, so I opened it up, opened the, took the pan off, and I figured out how to fix it. And uh, I already got the valve body out. I'm not gonna film a, vi a video on how to take the valve body out. Mr. Subaru, I'll put his link in the description. Uh, has a good video on how to replace these valve bodies if you guys just wanna replace them. I went down the cheap road. I'm just uh, replacing individual valve, uh, sorry, solenoids. Uh, so I'll show you how I test it and uh, how I replace it and where I got the parts. So, turn the camera around. Alright, as you can tell, get some gloves on. Because this stuff's stanky. As you can tell, we got the valve body out here sitting on a cardboard on a table I made. And uh, so this is the solenoid that went bad here. I was able to diagnose that solenoid individually with a voltmeter. I don't have a I got this voltmeter from my grandpa. Not the most fancy voltmeter out there, but it does the job. Let me show you how it works. So I have it, as long as it can read ohms, you have it set to 200 ohms. And uh, I'll show you how I do that. Let's see if there's a way for me to pick this up so you can see it. Uh, there we go. So basically the issue is, these should have, all have about 12 ohms of resistance. One, two, three. All three of these. This is the problem child one, and it has about 22 ohms of resistance. So if we come over to the plug, if you notice it's a green and gray wire. The gray wire is the ground wire. So if we come over here and look where the green wire comes in, which is the middle prong here that doesn't matter which way I put these on because it's just ohms so if I put that there and I touch that for a ground oh I was reading good okay that's another one blue and purple Ooh. So follow the purple blue wire around. I believe it's this one right there. It is. You touch it and I get 13 ohms. I get the other one. Where's purple? It's that one. Huh. These are all ohming out good. Well, you're going to have to take my word for it. When I did this when the transmission was hot, the green wire was at 22 ohms. And the car only starts having issues when the transmission gets warm. So mine wasn't quite that bad yet. But so I'm gonna go. I have all three solenoids. I might as well replace all three. But uh, I do know that this one was bad when I measured it when it was hot. It's this one right here. This is for the torque converter, the first one of the three. We're gonna start off by getting my handy dandy. Getting the handy dandy battery ratchet out. You just gotta take some 10 mils. There are some covers going over the top of these wires. For example, here here and there's one back here on this bolt so we're gonna start off by 
bending it up. Taking the bolt out. There. It appears that this bracket went underneath of the ground, which is kind of funky. How's the other ones? Yep, these little tabs right here go underneath the ground wires, which is kind of weird. So that one, this one. Another, bra another tab here that needs to be bent up. Move that wire out of the way. I am trying to keep these in order as much as possible so I don't lose them. There's a bolt hidden in these wires. there and there is one more here but that shouldn't need to come out so now this little bracket here actually doesn't need to come out I lied to you guys that one. Set that up, pull it up, and try to get it out without damaging anything. So take your time and be extremely cautious. Lay that there. As you notice, there is some metal on, built up on there. That's kind of normal wear and tear. This car does have over 200,000 on it. So now I'm going to take a little flathead screwdriver. There is a little indent down here, and I'm just going to lift up. It just comes up like that. See? All right. Now, I'll take these wires off here. Can you see that okay? Take those wires off there. You don't, you might be tempted to take off this top cap here, but it does not have to come off. You can stick a little flat screwdriver right here. Right there. And slowly lift it up. You gotta be careful because it will grab the wires and pull them, so you just gotta pop them free of the back. There we go. And it just pulls off. Just like that. One solenoid out. Grab a pair of needle nose. Grab a pair of needle nose. Pop it. Uh, looks like. Sorry. Better. Green went on the right one on this one. Gray went on the left. So out with the old. In with the new. As you can tell they are exactly the same. I got this one from the junkyard. I did some research and the ones you can get off of Amazon um, are junk. And uh, I just wanted to get an OEM one from the junkyard. Save me some money. They're not that expensive, but out with the old, that old's going over here. This is the new. So it's that same thing. I gotta take the cover back off. Slide the cover off. I'm gonna take some ATF, lube up these O rings. All right. Get sat in like that. So if you remember. Gray on left, green on right. 
So we'll throw this in here. Just like that. And this will just push back on down. One done. I'm gonna replace these other two because I have the transmission out and I have two more. So I'm not gonna worry about it. So I'll change those out and I'll be right back with you guys. Same process. All right. We had all of these changed out, new covers on. The bad three are lined up there. I believe only this one was bad, but it only went bad when the transmission got warm. So, uh, I went ahead and replaced all three anyways, because I had all three. So, we're going to start off by putting everything back together. So, I'm going to kind of clean this part a little bit. It's got a little, lot of little metal, worn metal, old transmission. Not too soft. It, this transmission is not taken care of. So, this goes on like that. And it has to go on underneath of, wait, did this come out like this? This goes on underneath. Being super mindful of wires. Just try to sneak it under, just like so. There. Just like that. And now, if you remember correctly, the wire hold downs, these guys went underneath of the grounds, which I think is crazy. So we're gonna go through the ground, through this, and then through the plate. Start it by hand. This one was the next in line. It went here. This one went here. I don't know which way this went. Anyway, it's not a big deal. Ooh, some trash. That wire off underneath. Sock it off. Hand start. Yeah, I had to go that way because the tab. And then this one right here. It was holding nothing. Hand start. Hand started. Got to make sure no wires, absolutely no wires get underneath. And then my last bolt here. Went here. Holding that wire like so. So now that I've started all these by hand, all of them feel fine. Yep, all of them feel fine. We're gonna take the battery ratchet and just run them down, stopping before they get tied. There we go. Tight. Tight. Make sure no wires are underneath. Tight. Make 
sure no wires are underneath. It's like. Okay, now I got those tight. I couldn't find the torque spec on these, and um, so these valve body bolts go to 76 inch pounds. I'm just gonna torque them to 50 inch pounds. I don't know if that's even where near. Take that with a grain of salt. It's just what I'm doing, cause that's what I got. That's tight. I don't like how that wire is pulling. That wire is spinning on me in there. So I'm trying to hold the wire so it doesn't pull. That's not very tight. I think it should be tighter. Yeah, let's go to 76 inch pounds. 76 inch pounds. If I can get it to click. 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 I think I got this one. Click. All those are torqued. Fresh out of Cal, too. Check that out. Brought it, brought it home from my toolbox at work. All I'm going to do is bend these tabs back down so they're holding the wires down that they are supposed to be holding down. And there. That is how you change out the solenoids in these valve bodies. So I'm going to throw this bad mamma jamma into the transmission tonight and uh, fill it up tomorrow once my gasket maker dries. So. It's that easy. If you're confident removing the valve body, you're more than capable of swapping out these solenoids. They're super easy, quick, easy. Can't ask for anything easier. So like I said, uh, if you have these codes, I'll put them on the screen again. It's torque converter, valve body, a solenoid lockup, whatever. I don't remember what the code says. Um, it's those three solenoids. It's honestly the first one with the green wire. Mine only ohmed bad at 22 ohms when I had heat inside of the transmission. So you might want to, if you're going to do this yourself, you just want to verify everything before you go buy these parts. Uh, go for a drive, get the transmission warm, uh, immediately get home, drop the pan. You can use your own meter set to 200 ohms, stick it on the green wire to the ground, to any bolt of the valve body. And if it's anything above 12 ohms, that solenoid is faulty. Um, so I hope these solenoids are good because they checked out when I went to the junkyard. So like I said, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in the next one. I've been working behind the scenes and some stuff. So see you in the next one.